Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being seen and shared. Celine Driver once again coming to you with a, another unboxing and review. Uh, this is a watch that was uh, very graciously loaned into my channel by a good friend of mine, fellow watch enthusiast and watch maker, uh, Ivan Hampton Ennis. Uh, he is um, the owner of Iconic Timepieces, who just recently uh, held a successful Kickstarter campaign, which successfully funded the, <clears throat> pardon me, the Halocline Dive Watch, which I, um, for full fair disclosure, I um, backed the um, campaign and have already selected my particular watch. And I uh, look forward to receiving it in the channel. Uh, I'm also looking forward to receiving one of the prototypes for review. Uh, we'll see which one comes first, whether it's the prototype or my actual watch. But he loaned in. Um, he also was the gentleman who loaned in my previously uploaded uh, video of the uh, Vostok uh, Explorer. And he loaned in this watch from Modern Made Man. Uh, this is a company that makes um, a watch series called the Belford in about eight different colorways, but their their main marketing focus is men's accessories, um, EDC carry stuff, uh, bags, wallets, belts, uh, what have you, and also this watch. Watch comes in a very nice... Um, hard shell travel case and uh, I'll leave a link to the uh, the modern made man website by the way and uh, you know it's a it's a travel case kind of um, uh, very simple and inside you have uh, the Belfort Oops. hold it right side up which is, is a it's a very nice um, you know, simple three-hander watch. Uh, all the watches are basically uh, different styles on the same theme. Uh, this this um, Royal Oak-esque kind of uh, case, uh, bezel and front. Very angular. Uh, very nice watch. They uh, seem to run about $400 on their website, uh, which, again, I'll leave a link to. You know, these guys are, are not uh, watchmakers per se, um, you know, but they are producing a nice watch. Uh, I've worn it. It's very comfortable. It keeps very good time. It does all the things you'd want a simple watch to do. I like the, um, the, the coating seems to be of good quality. It seems like it would be fairly durable. You know, automatic movement. Not uh, highly decorated, but, uh, you know, like everything else on their website, it's made to be functional, it's made to be efficient, it's made to be stylish. It's not, this, this watch is not something that's made to break new horological ground or anything, but uh, it's a nice watch. It has a, a weave, basket weave type pattern on the front. Oops, upside down, sorry. Genuine leather, stamped on the back, a very comfortable watch. And I left the crown unscrewed, sorry about that. I know that's going to make some people crazy unless I screw it back down again. You know my rule with, with automatic watches with screw down crowns, I always leave them unscrewed unless I'm going to wear them so I don't have too much wear and tear on the threads. Now it's just a personal choice. and something I advise people to do, but uh, you you folks do you, and uh, I'll do me. I'll give you a wrist shot of this watch. It seems to be a fairly new watch that he brought in because the, the band is, is still quite stiff, but it uh, seems like, a, you know, like a baseball glove or anything like that. It loosens up over time. And there it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. You see it fits very nicely. 
you know, not very long, elongated lugs. So uh, it, it hits down very nicely on the wrist. I'd say someone with as small a wrist size as maybe six and a quarter could probably wear this. It's not a very big watch. It wears very well. It's very lightweight. There we go. Very simple unsigned buckle. You know, it, it's probably in the case of most of this, it's probably uh, an amalgamation of off the shelf parts with a bit of styling by a modern made man. Uh, I'm not sure how they make the watch exactly, but you know, how they do it is 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 fine i mean it works it's very stylish i wore it um i wore it uh, out even in these um crazy times that we're in at the time i'm making this um i'm not going to mention exactly why because youtube doesn't seem to like that but uh if you google april 2020 um and you know in the future you'll you'll understand what we're going through right now and I did have some people comment uh, on the watch and uh, how good looking it was. So, you know, old modern made man are doing something right. Anyway, got my uh, sheet of facts here so you can learn a bit about the watch. This is the modern made man Belfort. Um, you know, like I said, this is one of eight different colorways that they have. Um, they have blue ones, they have different color faces, they have different uh, bezel um, colorways. So I'm sure you can find something that uh, you like if you choose to uh, explore. It is a 316L stainless steel case. I couldn't find anything specific about if this thing was coated or not. I'm pretty sure it is coated, but I couldn't see anything on the website about what kind of coating. It might be a PVD coating or whatever that's called. Uh, sapphire crystal, uh, front and back. Uses a uh, Miyota 9015 automatic movement. Uh, it is a you know, modern uh, automatic. It is hand windable. It hacks. It has um, quick set for the date at the three o'clock. So. It's a 200 meter water resistant watch. So, uh, I'm not exactly a dive watch, but it, it does have the depth rating to be a diver if you want it to be. I'm not sure about this leather band though. You might want to invest in a NATO or a rubber strap of some generic sort. Uh, 42 millimeter case diameter, uh, 12.4 millimeter thick. So it could definitely slide under a cuff. Uh, 22 millimeter lug width. And measures 50 millimeter on the tip to tip. So a uh, good sporty watch, dress-ish watch. Uh, you could wear it to work. You could wear it in the boardroom. You could wear it... Uh, um, you know, you've been, like I said, with, uh, with the 200 um, meter water resistance, it could be a diver. Um, I would just change the strap. Uh, let's see, what else can I say about this watch? There's not much else to say about it. I mean, it's a very simple watch. It's cased up very simply there. It's uh, a very stylish watch. It's not, uh, it's not, you know, breaking new ground or anything like that, but uh, it's a nice watch for somebody to pick up at a good price, about $400 on their website and, uh, you know, wear it and have fun with it. So I recommend it. Hopefully my recommendation will mean something to you and you might want to check it out. So with that in mind, I'm going to wrap the video by saying that if you enjoyed the uh, video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Um, that helps with the searchability of my uh, channel, you know, with the YouTube algorithms and everything makes my channel more searchable and helps me to uh, grow the channel. Um, comments, questions, suggestions down there in the bottom. 
I read them all. I respond to them all. Uh, my only rule is uh, if you're nasty or overly negative or just post something stupid, I'm, I'm going to delete the comment. I'm going to block you. That's just a rule I have. If you're new to the channel and or you've been here before and you haven't done so already, uh, take that tenth of a second and click that red subscribe button for me. Take another tenth of a second out of your life and click the bell icon next to it so when I upload new material, you're alerted. Um, I hope everyone is continuing to stay safe and stay healthy in the trying times that we're going through as I make this video. I hope that you're using my channel for some entertainment um, and uh, please continue to stay safe, continue to stay well. Don't do anything crazy. We're all going to get through this together. I believe that. See you in my next video.